It's time for the long-awaited Elimination Chamber match featuring presidents and WWE wrestlers. Whoever wins faces me for my titles, the titles that I won when I cashed in my money in the bank briefcase. That was no money in the bank briefcase. That was a McDonald's briefcase like what in the Yemen? Whoa there, Barry. No need to curse at the Big D Trump. You know you can't say Yemen nowadays, especially if it comes out of your dirty ass mouth. And what is that supposed to mean? Two simple words, Barack. War crimes. Bitch. And after I won, I opened up the briefcase again and ate a Big Mac. Did your dumbass really keep a Big Mac inside of that briefcase? Yep. Dear Lord, please help Trump's McDonald's problem and help me find more kids to kidnap. Amen. Uh, Joe, I don't think you should be praying about that. Can you just respect the fact that I need kids? I will not. It's literally the only reason why my heart hasn't flatlined yet. I hope it flatlines soon. That's pretty ironic coming from your quarter pounder with cheese ass. You literally go to McDonald's every day. You're probably their main source of income. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. No, nah, I'm good. Your daughter Ivanka already did. Jesus Christ, will you all shut up? All of this middle school roast battle shit is making your tribal chief pissed as hell. Don't worry, I'll try to speak more slowly so you can keep up. Bitch, just know that I'm gonna beat every single person that's in this match. Soon the tribal chief will reign supreme again. You dumbass. Go back to McDonald's. It's literally your natural habitat. You literally helped me break out of jail, so why are you being a bitch? I didn't break you out of jail. I simply guided you out of jail. And I only did that for that 10 million cheddar cheese lettuce and cabbage greenbacks cash. I don't blame you for helping break Trump out of jail for $10 million. I would do anything for some cash. Just like I gave China our whole military for the first copy of GTA 6. You did what? I know it's not cash, but I'll be selling that shit soon for some cash. Joe, that might have been the smartest thing you've ever done. Really, Donald? Fuck no. Oh, then what do I do? Should I sell GTA 6 back to China? You shouldn't have even bought GTA 6 in the first place, you prehistoric dork. Damn, you got him there, Mr. Deporter-in-Chief. There's no way you just called him Deporter-in-Chief Lamau. You money-hungry bitches! Shut the hell up before I drone strike your asses! I'm getting an alert on my phone that the entire world has declared war on us. Even Canada? Yep, even Canada. Shit, we are down bad, aren't we? Well, at least we have Texas, right? Oh no, Trump, I actually traded Texas to Mexico in exchange for free tacos for a month. Joe, you could have at least got a year of free tacos instead of a month. You kind of got ripped off there, not gonna lie. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah! I honestly don't care if the United States gets taken over. No one can see me anyway, so I can just live for free. I literally see you right now, you dumbass. I don't think Joe understands what a joke is. How pathetic. I guess jokes weren't around during the prehistoric time period, were they? Hey, John. I heard what you said to Jimmy a few weeks ago and how the wrong brother quit. And you're so wrong about that. Jay quit because he's mad that he wasn't able to defeat his tribal chief. Stop dick riding Jimmy just because you want him back into the bloodline. That just shows how weak you are, Roman. If I ever get a chance to fight you again, just know those titles will be coming to Hollywood with me. Oh, hey, Mr. Cena. I thought I would pay you a little visit over Discord. Oh, not this shit again. Get out of here, LA Knight. I plan to leave anyway, you bitch. Good, because no one wanted you here anyway. I want LA Knight to stay. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah! Jesus Christ, I think my eardrums might have exploded. Joe, did you put your mouth right up to your microphone when you said that? Wait, the thing that you talk into is called a microphone? I thought it was called headphones. It's hard to believe you beat 100,000 other sperm. I'm pretty good at races, Barack. Damn, your entrance looks weird without your titles. I'm just so used to you being champion, you know? And if I recall correctly, I'm the one who took your titles. Holy hell, Donald. It would be great if you could finally acknowledge me for once in your life as the best president to wrestle. Hey, that's my line, you bitch. It would be great if you were to shut your mouth. He does have a point there, Grumpy Trumpy. Did you really just call me Grumpy Trumpy? I did call you Grumpy. Uh, grew Grumpy Trumpy. Did I, I stut stutter? You just did. Oh, wait, I really did stutter there? Of course you did. You really forgot, didn't you? Yeah, my dementia is getting pretty bad, don't you think? Well, no shit, Joe. Everyone knows that. I feel bad for the White House staff that have to deal with your fossil ass every day. If you beat me in 2024, they'll probably turn the White House to a crematorium to prepare for your demise. Well, I hope I beat you then, because I love crematoriums. I just love to see dead bodies burn. What in the frickety fuck was that? Now, nah, Joe, I know you were my vice president and all, but you're fucked up, man. Obama, you know that corpse isn't human. 
He is literally a dinosaur that survived the asteroid and then evolved into a human. He probably has dinosaur DNA in his blood. That does not at all make any sense. But I'm just going to go ahead and believe you. As you should. The freakiest of the freakiest, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. And aren't we in the Middle East for this Elimination Chamber match? It must feel quite at home for Obama. Bitch! That was pretty rude, to be honest. You know Barack is insecure about that stuff. I don't care about Barack's insecurities. All I care about is beating your ass so hard that it'll send you to the I see you! Wait, you can see me? Oh my god, how can you see me? Huh? What? Oh. Did Lil Bro just nut? You dumb son of a bitch. I meant that I'm gonna send you to the ICU like in the hospital? My god, someone kill me. Yeah, John, you are a dumbass, to be quite honest with you. Your shirt that you're wearing says it for itself. Stay out of this LA. You have nothing to do with this. You always think that you're the spotlight of everything just because you get cheap crowd reactions. It's ironic that you're talking about cheap crowd reactions when all you have that's keeping you over with the audience is your stupid entrance theme song. Yeah! Even your wife gets louder crowd reactions than you, and that's when she's on NXT. Yeah! Oh, shut your dumb ass up, L.A. Knight. I don't even care about you, nor do I care about bald-ass Cena over there. All I care about is who the mystery wrestler is in this match, and I think we're about to find out. Wrestling has more than one royal fan. Damn, I'm a little disappointed. I expected someone bigger to be the mystery competitor like Brock Lesnar, but we get Cody Rhodes? Jesus Christ. What do you guys want to talk about? We don't want to talk about shit. Oh great, the overrated fart is here. Did you just call Cody an overrated fart? Speaking of farts, the kid-sized underwear that I'm wearing has fart stains on it. Why in the hell are you wearing kid-sized underwear? Are you so ancient that you forgot what size you were in? No need to fuss about it, Barack. It was just the underwear from the kids last night. Damn, they were rowdy in my bed. They did have fun with Big Balls Biden, though, that's for sure. What the fuck? Oh, and the underwear was girl underwear. I honestly prefer it over my adult diapers. Wait, does that mean you- I think that's enough of that conversation. I don't want to hear any more of what Sleepy Joe does in his free time. I'm never sending my kid around that creepy ass bitch. Same here. And I guess we'll now get started with this Elimination Chamber match with Seth freaking Rollins and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. After I'm done with this American Nightmare, I'll send his zesty ass all the way back to AEW. <laughs> and everyone will start off with one finisher when they enter the match. And it looks like Cody is already taking advantage of that stipulation. How'd you like that crossroads Seth? Reminds you of Hell in a Cell last year, didn't it? Your dumb ass really thinks that some stupid crossroads can put out the drip god himself, Seth freaking Rollins? Ha! Very funny, Cody. How about I give you a curb stomp just like I did to your wife last night? Oh, so that's why she didn't come home last night. You have must have forgotten who I am. I am the American nightmare, your worst nightmare, and you really thought I wouldn't kick out of a curb stomp. You must be high on Joe Biden's nose candy. Yeah, and I'm selling that shit for $1,000 per gram. It's a good deal, though. It comes straight from Columbia. Don't you think that's quite a lot for just one gram? I was actually considering buying some from you. It's hard to find Coke nowadays, let me tell you. What do you mean? You can literally find Coca-Cola everywhere. I don't know what you're on L.A. night, but whatever it is, Uncle Bidenator wants it. I wasn't talking about Coca-Cola, I was talking about. You know what? Who the fuck cares? And speaking of Coca-Cola, Oompa Loompa looking ass Trump over there drinks Diet Coke, thinking it helps with his obesity. But let me tell you something, Donald, it doesn't do shit to help you lose weight. Your two brain cells probably can't comprehend that, though. Joe, you're so sleepy that you're saying that I have two brain cells when all you have is your teleprompter. I swear 99.9% .9 of people are dumb. Fortunately, the big D Trump belongs in the remaining 1% of smart people. Donald, you dumbass. How does 1% go into 99.9%? .9 that would literally go over 100. Even if you didn't mean to say that, you and Joe are still dumb pieces of shit. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Barack? You know Donald's and Joe's feelings get hurt easily. I couldn't care less. Fair enough. Yeah, Trump, you really had me triggered there. You know me, the math wizard. Hates dumb people like you. Actually go back to school and get good grades instead of playing WWE 2K23 all day. Same with you, Joe. You could be giving more money to Ukraine, but you're over here playing this stupid kids game. How long have you been here? Quite a while, that's all Big Ben Shapiro will say. 
Oh, and that reminds me that I need to give Ukraine their weekly $80 billion. No, Joe, don't do it. I already did. Shit! I'm taking on Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes all by myself. I'm a good wrestler for my age, aren't I? I would have already pinned Seth and Cody if I was in there, so don't think your prehistoric ass is any more special than the big D Trump. All right, small D Donnie, say what you want. Joe, you couldn't beat me even if your life, if you even have any left, depended on it. Your bones are probably going to be broken after this. Soon we'll call you paralyzed Biden. Ha 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 ha. Well, I call your wife Becky my bitch when she's under my desk sucking my two millimeter defeater. Oh, shit. Damn, Biden, you just knocked Seth off of his rocker. That was well deserved. Seth has been salty that I eliminated him from the Royal Rumble match for like two months now, and the freak show hasn't shut up about it. And how does that have anything to do with what is happening right now? It doesn't have anything to do with it. I just wanted to express my anger. Yeah, sure. How about you express your anger on Nikki Bella? We all know you miss her. I bet she doesn't miss your bald ass, though. Don't bring Nikki up, you bitch. And don't make fun of the balding on my head. It literally happens to everyone, and it will soon happen to your overrated ass. Whatever you say, John. Jesus Christ, can you all stop yelling into your microphones? My ears are bleeding right now. No cap. The CNN Thunderbomb. The CNN Thunderbomb? Are you serious, Joe? That may very well be the worst name for a wrestling move known to mankind. There's no need to be a hater, Donald. I just like to watch CNN for their cooking. My, oh my, all of the food gets me hungry. You actual skeleton, CNN doesn't even do cooking. They report on fake news. Yes, you heard me right. Fake motherfucking news. My bad Trumpy Dumpty. Instead of CNN, I was talking about Hell's Kitchen, like the kids' edition of Hell's Kitchen, you know? I can already tell where this is going. When I watch that show, man, those kids make me hard, like I'm talking about harder than a rock. It takes a lot to do that for someone my age. I just wish I was there in that kitchen. Me and the kids would have so much fun locked up in the back, just me and the kid, all alone. God help us. That was so disgusting, holy shit. Michael, get the trash can, I'm gonna puke. Don't you mean Michelle? Oh my God, the gorilla himself has arrived. I never thought I would see the day. Who are you calling a gorilla, you tangerine? All right, guys, let's chill out a little here. The only person that's not gonna chill is me. I'm still mad over what Joe said about my wife earlier. And the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins doesn't tolerate that level of disrespect. Ha 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 ha! Take this curb stomp, Seth. Knocking your ass out just like I knocked Donald Trump out of winning the 2020 election. Did Joe really just eliminate Seth Rollins, the world heavyweight champion? What timeline are we living in? Because this is getting insane. I was not expecting Sleepy Joe to eliminate anyone but I especially didn't expect him to eliminate Seth Franklin Rollins. I thought his bones would fall apart before then, or he'd fall asleep. Well, now that I proved all of my doubters wrong and won this elimination chamber match, I'm going to go on and beat Trump to finally bring the WWE titles to the White House where they belong. No, Biden, you didn't win the elimination chamber match yet. There's still four wrestlers left that haven't been eliminated. I can't even count that high, to be honest. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest, Joe. It really doesn't. But still, when I do win this Elimination Chamber match, I'm bringing those titles back to the White House. It'll look pretty good in the daycare room upstairs. I bet all of the kids will love it. You having a daycare in the White House also doesn't surprise me. We all know that you'll be bringing those titles to your Delaware vacation home, because that's where you are 90% of the time, instead of doing your job as, quote, President of the United States. Why'd you say President of the United States in quotes? Because it's clear that you're not the true President of the United States. You literally rigged the election, you fraud. Actually, I would just give the titles to Ukraine. Are we not gonna talk about how this old hag just pinned me? I think Joe is using hacks. I'm not hacking you, dummy. I'm just better than you. So much for finishing the story. Go to the library and go finish a story that actually has an ending. Good idea, I'll go there right now, actually. I almost had you pinned there, Barack. Just one more finisher and your ass will be sent all the way to China. You should be lucky that you'd be going to China anyway. I love it there. Such a beautiful country. I can speak their language too. I'm well aware that you can speak Chinese. That's literally all you know how to do. And I'll speak some Chinese right now. Oh no. My name is Yuehan Xinan. I like to say Chinese. Barack in this game is also very bad. I'm going to do a surprise to the Yemen. I'm done. John Cena is back at it again. Joe, you really thought I wouldn't kick out of that? Some stupid CNN bomb? Bro, I'm literally Super Cena. I can kick out of anything. I don't care, John. All I care about is this replay of a move which I like to call the 9-11 attack. 
Why in the world is your move called that? Because when I'm charging at John Cena, I'm like an airplane, and I picture John Cena as the World Trade Center. Pretty creative, right? And let's run that shit back. Look at my farm when I get momentum from the ropes and clothesline John Cena. You can't say that isn't incredible. Joe, you're one hell of a freak. Oh, don't worry, I know. The big dog is here to destroy each and every one of you in this match. Soon your tribal chief will become champion again just how it should be. Hey, don't push me, you bitch. I can do whatever I want. After all, I am the big dog. Woof, woof, woof. I didn't know Roman was a dog. I've always thought he was human. You relic, I'm not a dog. I just call myself the big dog. Bro doesn't even have a brain. Oh my God, Roman the dog can talk? No way now, this is crazy. Kamala didn't tell me that dogs can talk now. Things change so fast, don't they? Jesus Christ! Just ignore that zombie. He probably doesn't even know the difference between a cat and a dog. Wait, Roman is a cat? I'm out! Did he seriously just leave the Discord call? Don't worry, Barack. Your boyfriend will be back soon. What? Is there something you're not telling me? Thanks a lot, Donald. It was my pleasure. Wait, so is Roman a cat or a dog? Shut the fuck up, Joe. Okay. What I'm about to do to Cena will end his wrestling and Hollywood career. If the dumbass even had one in the first place. This doesn't look good for Cena. Oh shit, oh my god. Ah! There wasn't even a reversal for that. Now that shit is rigged just like the 2016 election. The 2016 election wasn't rigged because the big D Trump won it. The 2020 election, however, was stolen from me. The same thing will happen in 2024. Thanks a lot, Sleepy Joe and Mr. Drone Striker. The hell did Trump I called stunner pussy. You bitch, that's my move. Don't care. Ronald McDonald man over here already knows that Uncle Bidenator will beat him in 2024. I find it hilarious, not gonna lie. Bro gonna complain on Twitter when he loses again. Crybaby of the decade, let me tell you. It's called XU dumbass. Now shut up before I launch one of my rockets at the White House. Oh, I love rockets. I like when they go boom, boom, ha ha ha, boom, 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 let's go. What the fuck did I just witness? My bad, my slime, I got a little carried away. I let my intrusive thoughts win. Yeah, your slime can tell. Your hack client must be real nice, Roman, because there's no way that you just pinned me there. How could you even see me in the first place? You just suck. Yemen Destroyer. You do that move way too much for your own good. I do suck. Oh, you're talking about sucking at the game. Oh, my bad, my bad. What did you think I was talking about? Don't worry about it. All that I can say is that Barack has a lot of experience with it with his husband. I couldn't agree more with that one Cena. Barack isn't as good as he used to, though. I don't even know what y'all are talking about. All I'm thinking about is drone striking Yemen for the 1,000th time. I just love destroying villages. It's just so much fun. Jesus Christ, Barack, you are weird. But anyways, John, that might have been the most embarrassing way to be pinned in a match. You were literally pinned by a jumping clothesline. A jumping clothesline. Yeah, I said it twice because it was so embarrassing. I'm gonna have dreams about that one. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, John. I thought you were better than that. You two better hope I don't see you backstage, because if I do, all hell will break loose. Yo, Elon, am I your slime? I think we can be good friends. Hell, we could form a tag team called L.A. Tesla. How does that sound? Sounds like shit. Thanks for the compliment, Elon. I really appreciate it. No problem. One thing I just realized is that we're the only three presidents that have played this game. We should get George in here and maybe my homie Bill Clinton. We could also get Hillary in here. Joe, I'm going to stop you right there, because I've already tried to get George in this series. But every time I ask him, he says he's too busy driving his Porsche 911. And don't even get me started on the fucktard duo of Bill and Hillary. If I ever see those two again, I'll put them in a cage and send them to Madagascar so they can sing and dance to the song, Move It, Move It, with the lemurs. You and the Clintons must be very good friends. I can't tell if you're being satire or if you're actually just a dumb son of a bitch. Well, my mom was indeed a big, fat, ugly bitch, so I guess I am a dumb son of a bitch. Why are you calling your mother a bitch? The only person you should be calling a bitch is Roman for holding the universal title hostage for three years. Stay mad. She's a bitch because she never let me go to playgrounds when I was younger. The only time she did was when there were no other kids around. I couldn't even be around my own siblings. I never knew why. It's probably because she knew right when you came out of the womb that you would become a predator. Yep, that sounds about right. Oh shit, I can't kick out of this Yemen driver, Roman. You gotta help me. I'm coming, Biden! When I said that I was coming to break you out of that pin, I meant that I was... Well, never mind. Bro, what the hell? How did you not break up the pin? We literally had a contract that you would help me win this match. 
You guys had a contract? I didn't even sign a contract, you demented fossil. I was trying to help you because I was actually trying to be nice for once. Now I know why I can't. Well, it looks like Barack Obama and Roman Reigns are the final two idiots in this match. So if whoever wins faces you for your titles, which will be me, by the way, when will I face you? I'll reveal that after this match ends, but you gotta focus on that scumbag named Roman because he's really beating your ass right now. Not trying to hate, but it's true. Are you blind? I literally just hit Roman with the super kick suplex combo and I'm about to hit this motherfucker with the Yemen driver. Oh no, not the Yemen driver. God, I have nightmares of that move. And I bet the people of Yemen do as well. I also have nightmares of getting pinned and I'll make sure it doesn't happen today. And it sure won't happen from a stupid Yemen driver. That reminds me of when your cousin Jay pinned you at Money in the Bank in July. That memory still haunts you, doesn't it? Your 1,000 days or whatever the hell it was, streak of not being pinned, being broken, must feel terrible. You sounded really robotic there. You good, Donald? I sound robotic because I'm literally a fucking AI. You're an AI too. Bro really just broke the fourth wall. Let's just pretend that I never just said that. One thing I'm not gonna pretend didn't happen is you disrespecting me by making fun of your tribal chief being pinned at money in the bank. But honestly, I couldn't care less because I'm still holding the universal title hostage. I am jealous that Mommy Rhea has something going with Jay, though. Yeah, Jay is one lucky man. Buddy Matthews is crying in the corner, though, haha. -ha. Did y'all forget about Dominic? I bet one million dollars that no one gives a damn about Dominic Mysterio, that prick. You're right about that one. I would also bet all of the money China gave me and my family that no one gives a damn about McDonald Trump. Did you really just call me McDonald Trump? Are you high? Yes and yes. I said this once and I'll say it again. You're the reason why The Walking Dead exists. They literally took you as inspiration for the movie. The director was like, hmm, what movie should we make next? Then they thought of you and they were like, oh, let's make a zombie movie. Well, I think you're the inspiration for the color orange with your orange ass skin. Oranges exist because of your existence. Hell, the color was probably inspired off of your skin. And I bet the inspiration for wigs is your hair, because we all know it's fake. How can my skin be the inspiration for a freaking color? And how can my hair, which is 100% real, be the inspiration for wigs? Oh my God, my brain cells are currently dying. God help us. Go fuck yourself with an ice cream cone. Ooh, uh, imagine getting roasted by God, ha 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 ha. That's a bigger L than the existence of AEW. Well, uh, I have an ice cream cone you can borrow. Kill me! With an ice cream cone? Bro, I literally hit this NPC with two spears and it's still kicking out. How in the hell is this possible? Nah, homie, where is Solo Sokoa when you need him? You really thought two spears would pin me for the three count? Ha! You must be dumb in the head because nothing can beat me. I literally drone strike villages and nothing happens to me. So why would someone like you, someone who goes on one month vacations 10 times a year beat me? It's impossible. Did you have anything else to say? Holy fuck to the power of 69. I'm done with this stupid game. I'm out of this bitch. Get ready for a drone strike Roman. Ah! Did that dumbass really just break his setup again? Jesus Christ, I have to go calm him down. Maybe playing with his meatballs will help. What? So Trump, when will we have our match? Great question, Roman Noodles. We'll have our match four episodes from now in episode 20 in an event in which I like to call Presidential Mania. This is basically our version of WrestleMania. Best part about it is that we'll be in the main event, just so you feel somewhat at home when I beat you. Wait, you're just defending the universal title and not the million dollar title also? Now that's some bullshit. Deal with it. Yeah! 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 Why are you guys repeating the word yeah? Is this some cult? I think it might be. Yeah! 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 Make it stop! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Now where did I park my car? Oh hey Cena, what's up? Get out of my way, you bitch. You're gonna pay for that one L.A. night. Bro, what was that for? I just wanna go home. Screw going home. I don't even need a home because I just sneak into other people's houses. It's pretty genius, not gonna lie. No one can see me anyway, it's perfect. You're a dumbass, John, I gotta tell you. Oh, don't worry, L.A., I know. And you really had to throw me onto the concrete like that? 
What do you have against me? I literally paved the way for guys like you and you still don't respect me? Bro doesn't have any hustle, loyalty, or respect. What in the hell is going on here? Are you too insane? Well, that was a stupid question because it's obvious what the answer is. Is the answer that we're not insane? No, you idiot. You two are clearly insane pieces of shit. Now drop the hockey sick Ella Knight before things get rough between you and me. And I'm not talking about in bed. No, no, no. I'm not like Obama with Manchel. I'm talking about man to man wrestling. L.A. Knight, are you deaf? Put it down. Put it down now. Okay, there you go. You finally listened. Now, you two better stop fighting back here or we'll have bigger issues with each other than we already do. With that being said, I think a good way to solve this problem is summon ring wrestling baby, Cena versus Knight, next episode. And better yet, how about me as the special guest referee for that match? Then I can watch over your candy asses to make sure no bullshit happens. I think that is a terrific idea, Mr. Visionary. I'll be seeing you next episode, Ella Knight, where I'll beat your ass with my bare hands. Wait, that was weird. John, you literally have a wife. Just do it to her. I didn't know you were gay, John. That's some news to me. Well, either way, gloves on or off, I'll still beat your ass. See you in episode 17, Knight. Hey guys, I know this is all so sudden and everything, but yeah, CM motherfucking Punk is back in the WWE, but not as a wrestler, as a backstage interviewer. Like what in the frickety fuck, a backstage interviewer? At least the pay is good. I need some money after being fired from AEW. And you probably noticed that I'm wearing a clown outfit and that's because I'm quote, a piece of shit and a retard. That was literally straight from Vince McMahon's mouth. And if the old hag is hearing this right now, then fuck. You know what? I really don't want to be fired right now. I kind of need the money. Who doesn't in this day and age? But without getting political, let's get on with this interview. Welcome my guest, the Yemen president, Rashad Al-Alimi. How are you today, Mr. President? Shut up. This is my interview. I'm here to discuss what happened at the end of the last episode, where the news was saying that Trump drone striked Yemen after the title match. But that wasn't true. It was Barack Obama, that bastard. So next episode, episode 17, I want Barack Obama to explain why on earth he drone striked us for like what? The 1,000th time? Every time we rebuild, boom, gone. Rebuilding again, boom, gone again. Like what the hell? Explain your actions, Barack. I'll be waiting. That bitch. Now nah, get this camera out of my face. Thank you all for watching this video. Our light goal for today is 69,420, because why the hell not? Next episode, me and Roman will sign our contract to make our match for presidential mania official. Barack Obama will then address his future in the WWE, including addressing the Yemen drone strikes. And John Cena and L.A. Knight will finally have their match being built up from the Royal Rumble with Seth Rollins as the special guest referee. But with that, the big D Trump has to go and campaign some more if I want to have a chance at beating Joe in 2024. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Ah, uh, what a nice day it is today. I remember Barack saying that he was going to drone strike me. Ha! That hasn't happened, has it? Well, shit.